AKC Live is all new. This week we cover the Peach Blossom Cluster, the Tri-State Basset Hound Rescue Waddle, and Earth Day Dog Products. We also talk to Dr. Stanley Corrin about the emotional attachment we have to our dogs, visit an urban dog yoga class, and much more. It's all now on AKC Live. Hi, I'm Sam Ryan, and this is AKC Live, AKC's live show bringing you the latest dog news and entertainment from the American Kennel Club. Well, spring is in the air, and so is the Peach Blossom Cluster. Last weekend, the Atlanta Kennel Club hosted its annual dog show as part of the Peach Blossom Cluster, which includes the Atlanta Kennel Club, the Douglasville Kennel Club of Georgia, and the Valdosta Kennel Club, and several specialty clubs. The event saw more than 4,000 entries. My favorite thing about the Peach Blossom Cluster is how much you can do. My favorite part is uh, watching the dogs have a good time, all breeds of dogs, and watching the smiles on the handlers' faces. Some of the events featured as part of the Peach Blossom Cluster included the Pee Wee Competition. It's a pre-junior showmanship class geared towards children ages 5 through 9. Now this isn't a competitive class, rather a fun learning experience. There's also Barn Hunt, which is designed to test a dog's ability to hunt vermin by locating a rat hidden in a maze of straw or hay bales. Then there is Coursing Ability Test, also known as CAT. Each dog chases an artificial lure on either a 300 or 600 yard long course and must finish in under one and a half or two minutes respectively. Fast cat, dock diving and agility are also featured and of course, the group and best in show judging. From winners to waddlers, this past weekend, Basset Hound lovers from the Tri-State Basset Hound Rescue gathered in Ocean City, New Jersey for the Basset Hound Olympics and Boardwalk Waddle. Now this marked the 20th year of the event where 500 to 600 hounds gather and then waddle down the boardwalk as part of the Ocean City's doodah parade. The Basset Hound Olympics feature classic events like the 10 meter sprint and the Basset high jump. The Tri-State Basset Hound Rescue showcased some lovable hounds that had been rescued and need loving homes. The AKC Rescue Network is the largest network of dog rescue groups in the country. There are 160 unique breeds and more than 450 rescue groups across the country represented within the network. And to find a rescue group near you, visit www.akc.org slash AKC Rescue Network. Thank you to Tim Hawk and the press of Atlantic City for sharing their footage with us. Later this week, the Victory for Victims walk run takes place April 21st in Van Nuys, California. Now, this is to benefit the Northridge Hospital Center for Assault Treatment Services, which is a 24-hour treatment program for victims of sexual abuse or assault. The AKC donated $10,000 as a dog run sponsor. The event features a 5K walk run, a 10K walk run, a kids fun run, and a one-mile friendly dog walk. Now this year is the first year they're officially including dogs as walking partners. And you can still sign up for this event. There's no doubt dog owners share an emotional bond with their dog. A majority of dog owners consider their pet part of the family. Here to join us to discuss this emotional bond and relationship is Dr. Stanley Corrin, Professor Emeritus of the Department of Psychology at the University of British Columbia. Dr. Corin, thank you for joining us. In your recent article in Psychology Today, you talk about the emotional bond between dogs and their owners. Is this a modern development? No, it's not a modern development at all. Um, there are a number of studies which have shown that this has been going on since the Stone Age. Uh, the usual data which you find is, uh, which indicates some kind of an emotional bond uh, is when uh, an animal is buried with people. Uh, so the most recent one of these that we found uh, involved a uh, gravesite in uh, Bonn, Germany. And uh, this traces back to the uh, Stone Age, to the Paleolithic era. We're talking about 14,000 years ago. So we see that back in time, and how has the relationship between man and dog changed or evolved over time? Well, actually, it's gotten to be uh, much warmer. Um, Ramesses the Great uh, in Egypt uh, had a favorite dog by the name of Kami, and he had the dog mummified, and it was buried with him. 
and uh, uh, that dog also had a sub name, which is um, the Pharaoh's uh, bed dog. In other words, this dog slept with him. Um, and uh, like many people, you have your dog sleep with you because you're fond of them, want them close. We come here to 2018 now. Obviously, social media presence is the enormity of is, is huge. Are you seeing dog owners include their dogs more frequently in social media and outside of the home? Uh, people have always included dogs, uh, at least their pet dogs, uh, in family celebrations. Uh, we find now that about 97% of uh, people uh, consider dogs to be part of their family. Uh, I don't think that social media makes uh, all that much of a difference, except for the fact that we now get to uh, post pictures uh, or video clips uh, of our dogs in silly hats uh, celebrating their birthday. From what you've noticed, do dog owner bonds vary by culture? Uh, there is a tendency for uh, dogs to become uh, more of a part of the family uh, in the developed world, uh, partly because of the fact that we have a little bit of, of extra income and also because we don't need the dogs uh, to serve as a in some kind of function. Um, obviously, a herding dog should be out uh, guarding a herd. Uh, a guarding dog is going to guard a facility or a person or that sort of thing. And so they don't have much time for affection. Uh, so, you know, where we have uh, dogs pred predominantly as pets, um, uh, there's an opportunity to build that bond a little bit more closely. Dr. Stanley Korn, we thank you so much for your time and your insight. Part of spending time and strengthening that human canine bond is, of course, time spent walking, running, or exercising with our dogs. And April kicks off National Canine Fitness Month, where healthy and physical activity for our dogs is the focus. But not every owner is mobile or able to give their loyal companion that needed activity. Running Paws by AKC is a service offered the AKC Canine Retreat, which specializes in dog running. It offers daily fitness sessions with collegiate cross country and track runners, marathoners, and endurance athletes who are passionate about running and dogs. Dogs start by slowly building up his or her endurance with interval training. Sessions begin with a warm up, a walk, and a cool down on the way to back home. Running paws by AKC athletes are trained to carefully watch for discomfort, including dehydration, overheating, and fatigue. Well, Canine Fitness Month encourages us to develop a healthier lifestyle and bond with our four-legged family members. We visited an urban agility class at the New York Dog Spa and Hotel where your dog can burn some calories in style. Let's find out more. I'm Katrina. I am a senior trainer at Andrea Arden Dog Training. For Katrina, Trix training is more than just a way to win trophies and show off to friends. It's a practical approach to owning a dog. Good, very nice Milo. How we teach a trick, how we teach an obedience skill is exactly the same. And the benefits that you get from doing obedience training are the same benefits you get from tricks training. The dog's still learning to listen to you. They're learning skills that you can use to replace behaviors that you don't like. But unlike a simple sit and stay, tricks are a great way for a dog to break a sweat, which is actually the main reason people bring their dogs to Katrina. She has a lot of energy, as you can tell, and we just didn't know how to channel that energy um, living in New York City. So we had done Puppy 1 and Puppy 2 with Katrina, and we had a really great experience, and she told us that Urban Agility can help channel some of her energy, which she has a lot of. Katrina's no stranger to high-energy dogs. There's one in her house. This is Maybe. I created the curriculum for this class mainly because of this dog because she drove me crazy when she was young and I had to get creative to burn all of this extra energy that she had. Which, if you live in a city, can be a challenge. A lot of my clients, they were struggling with how do you engage your dog, keep them active on bad weather days or when they're not feeling well or if they have an injury. So it's important that they have 
other things that they can do with their dogs to burn that extra energy off. Urban agility isn't just exercise. It isn't just tricks. It's a way of connecting with your dog. That's one of the most rewarding parts of being a dog trainer, is seeing how the relationship changes. How the owner is then able to understand their dog's behavior and understand what they can do to influence their dog's behavior. We take a positive approach to dog training. The dog is learning to really enjoy the training and the client and the dog are building up a positive relationship. At least for me on a personal level, the relationship that I have with my own dogs is one of the best parts of my life. You can sign up for group classes or private training at andreaorden.com. Also, the AKC has a new trick dog program. And for more information, visit us at akc.org. And today's fun fact, did you know when dogs kick back after they go to the bathroom, there's a reason for it. No, it's not to cover it up. They kick back to mark their territory using the scent glands in their feet. With today's technology, we can use our smartphones and GPS devices to help track our locations and that of our loved ones. Well, Link AKC has introduced the ultimate dog collar. Not only tracks your dog's location, but it does so much more. Link AKC's Herbie Cavs joins us right now. Herbie, you're the VP of marketing for Link AKC Collar. We have a demo of the Link AKC Collar. I want you to walk us through this. We're gonna show the video right now, Herbie. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, the Link AKC product does much more than just location tracking, but it is very good at location tracking. So what you see here right now is a walkthrough of the app, and there's several things within location that we can do. We can tell you when your dog is home. It obviously tells you when your dog is with you, and there's other controls that you can um, uh, do when the dog is with you. And you can also set a safe zone. What you see here is like when you're away from home and you're at a park and it's off leash hours at the park, and you want to you know, let the dog go and, and peace of mind while you talk to someone, it'll notify you if the dog goes out of that safe zone, that geo, it's like a geo zone um, operated by GPS. Um, activity um, is an area of the app that we find that consumers are actually spending the most time in to make sure their dogs are getting enough exercise. You can set your daily goals. Um, you're notified if you achieve a goal. You can earn badges if you hit different streaks. You can look at your history as it shows here to show like what you've done over the past few months um, or year. Um, and also the goals themselves are actually informed from a database we built together with the AKC based on your dog's age, weight and breed. So they are customized. Another thing that we're showing here in this, in this video is a fun feature in the, in the product. It's called Adventures where you can track your own adventure on a map, as you see here. You could take photos along the way, and it kind of pin drops the photos. And then you're able to share them, um, either on email, on text, or on different social channels um, to share you know, a, pop, you know, a favorite hike um, and some photos that you took along the way with it. And those are just some of the you know, initial things that you can do with the product. Um, the location tracking feature actually would, you know, it uses the AT&T network. So you can really track your dog anywhere in the country, as long as your dog has, is within the AT&T coverage area and has a cell signal. Um, and you on your phone have a cell signal. We like to tell consumers that, you know, the link AKC is like getting a smartphone for your dog and you can always kind of check in on them and find out where they are and what they're up to uh, by using our product. That's awesome. Now, spring and summer are obviously about to heat up. Tell us more about the heat sensor function of the collar and how that works. Yeah, there's a, a temperature sensor in the product, and it tells you ambient temperature around the dog. It's not the dog's body temperature. It's not a health meter from that, but it's something that you can use to make sure your dog is safe. Um, you can set the alerts to different thresholds so that you're notified if the temperature goes above that, and your dog then may be in an area that's not safe. So there's a high temperature threshold that you can set and then also a low temperature threshold you can set. What about charging? Obviously this is a wireless collar. How does the charging work? How long does one take to charge a uh, collar to maximum? So a full charge takes about two hours from a complete drain to between 145 and two and a half hours. Um, there's a base station that comes with the product and you put the collar right on top of the, uh, of the cradle. Um, and you just leave it there. There's some magnets. It helps it kind of connect. Um, and 
leave it until it's fully charged. If the collar is powered on when you put it on the charger, it'll notify you when the collar is fully charged and ready to go back onto the, uh, onto the, the uh, collar carrier or the sleeve. You told me a little bit about earlier about the activity stats when we were watching the demo, that this is not just about location, that there are stats. Can these stats through the app be saved and downloaded and you know referred back to and compared? Um, they can't be downloaded, but they're definitely saved. Um, okay. And you can, as we started a show there, you see over the historical months, you can look at different days activity. If you clicked on any one of those days in the app, it would give you the detail for that day about how many minutes of intense activity, how many minutes of moderate activity, and you can see whether you hit the goal. Um, the goals can also be adjusted over time. Um, if you see that you're, you know, you're constantly, you know, beating or exceeding your goal, um, you can then adjust it up or you can adjust it down. Let's say your dog is like recovering from surgery of some type and you, you know, you don't want to be a negative Nancy um, <laughs> and always miss your goal. You can adjust it down to make sure that, you know, you have the right goal set at different points in time in their recovery. So uh, for those who are into fitness and running, we see these apps and different programs for runners, the, you know, the Garmin devices and, and the, the Strava. This is similar, but for dogs. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, we really think the health and wellness side of this product is really, it continues to grow. As I said, it's the area of the app that's used the daily and used most frequently by consumers, even if they thought they were going to be using it primarily for location. Um, you know, we're finding that consumers are buying this for peace of mind of knowing where their dog is um, at all times. But at the end of the day, dogs get lost really a small amount of time. And then they're going in there to really kind of make sure their dog is getting the right level of activity. What is the price range for this collar? Uh, the full MSRP for the product is $129. Uh, we're often on sale for $99 um, on linkakc.com, akc.org in the shop area and on uh, Amazon, Bed Bath & Beyond, Chewy.com. Um, that's where you can find it. And again, 129 discount to 99 There's a, a service plan, like a cell phone plan for your dog um, that starts mm -hmm. at 9 95 a month. Awesome. What type of feedback have you received so far? Great feedback. I mean, you know, people are really finding the product to be, you know, fun. You know, it's, some people bought it for very like practical reasons, and then they find themselves in the product um, frequently to kind of look and see what's going on with their dog, curiosity to see what their dog is do doing throughout the day. Um, and then also people really love the, the fashion of, you know, how fashionable the product is. And we just introduced our sport version, as you can see here. Um, this is the classic version. The sport version um, is black nylon collar, quick release collar. This sleeve, the tracking unit slides in and out of the, uh, of the sleeve. Um, like that. And you see it's a awesome. uh, non leather front as well on the sport. So a new version of it, the sport version of it. Link yep. AKC. Herbie, thank you so much for your time. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Earth Day is April 22nd. And to celebrate and honor the push for a clean environment, AKC brings you Sherelle Starr. It's Sherelle Starr here, and I've got my great friend Ziggy, and we're at the United by Blue store in Lower Manhattan, where we've rounded up some fun, eco-friendly products to make it Earth Day every day with your pet. So if you want to have spa time with your pet, you can try the Young Living Therapeutic Oil products. They come in shampoos, they come in massage oils, they smell amazing, and pets love them. They've got scents like mango, sunflower seed oil, avocado. You just put a little on your palm, and you can rub it right into the fur of your pet to keep him nice and soft and cuddly. Uh, it was 100% organic products, such a really great line to use. You can get this from youngliving.com. Next, we've got a great set off of shopakc.org. Uh, this is the Organics Pure Natural Pet Set. You've got the spray for flea and tick. You've also got a bug spray, also 100% organic, along with the Dental Solutions toothbrush with 100% organic toothpaste that you can use to keep your pet smile nice and protected and bright and white. We also have some great yummy items from the Portland Pet Food Company. They've got both savory and sort of sweet items for your pet. They've got some yummy treats um, as well as some um, 
food items for your dogs. And what's really special and fun about this particular company, especially for Earth Day, is they actually take the leftover barley from local breweries and they use that in their products. So basically you get this two for one, especially if you're a beer lover out there. None of the barley and none of the wheat is going to waste. Um, and they're using that to make some yummy pet food as well. And we also have the United by Blue bandanas. This one that Ziggy is wearing is actually the Lonely Whale. And it's this amazing blue color that brings out the color in his eyes. And what's really wonderful about the United by Blue and their company is for every product sold, they actually remove a pound of trash from the waterways. So you know you're doing something really good while keeping your pet looking really good. On our next show, we'll bring you the highlights of the Poodle Club of America Spaniel Tests in St. Charles, Missouri that are taking place this week. But before we go, we want to leave you with a good dog moment of the week. Meet Clooney. Clooney's an adorable Newfoundland, and yes, those are his baby chicks. How about that? We'll be back in two weeks. I'm Sam Ryan. Thanks for watching AKC Live. It's Good Dog TV.